Well, as our viewers know, President Trump has vowed to crack down on sanctuary cities, and one city that could soon feel the heat is Los Angeles, where the mayor has just taken bold new steps to protect illegal immigrants. National correspondent William Lajeunesse reports from Los Angeles. You can count on your privacy being protected by your city. L.A. officially declared itself a sanctuary city Tuesday, saying no city employee or official can cooperate with the federal government in identifying, detaining, or deporting illegal immigrants. In Los Angeles, we don't separate children from their families because it's inhumane. In Los Angeles, we don't demonize our hardworking neighbors just because they speak a different language or come from a different country. That's un-American. We look to be able to strike that balance between public safety and public trust. L.A. County Sheriff Jim McDonald runs the largest jail in America. His patrol deputies don't enforce immigration law, but he opposes any policy that bans police from communicating with ICE. We do a better job because we work together than we otherwise would. Counterterrorism, a great example. McDonald is one of the few politicians opposed Proposing a statewide sanctuary bill that would prohibit jail officials from even identifying violent criminal aliens for deportation. We can allow ICE access to those individuals. That's a system that by and large works very well for us at this point and that's one of the main reasons that uh, I look at uh, Senate Bill 54 as something that is unnecessary at this point. While California may enact a sanctuary policy, other states are making them illegal. Lawmakers in Florida, Iowa, Kansas, Kentucky, Pennsylvania, Virginia, Wisconsin, and Texas have introduced bills to penalize sanctuary cities financially. But yesterday, Mississippi became the first state to actually pass such a bill. The Trump administration claims sanctuary policies are illegal and vowed to withhold millions in federal funds. Now, we expect a statement from the Department of Justice on this tomorrow, but earlier, a spokesman at Homeland Security told me they're still trying to come up with exactly what level of noncompliance defines a sanctuary city. James? William Lajeunesse in Los Angeles tonight.